I just went right up to it. The gent was trying to hold a wave, and he couldn't do anything about it. I just went right up to it and got both towers down and walked out like it was nothing. <laughs> In my dreams, I see bones frozen in ice. I wonder if they are my own. Oh, 
destroyed a turret.
has been slain. Sacred tree, soil, beast, blood. The ground is sown in blood. An enemy has been slain. another classic right there yeah my team was dom dominating overall but like when you get like a matchup like this a rumble top you're gonna struggle and this is kind of how you work around it and you can still go uh titanic and nash's um rush if you don't die if you die you have to rush your mythic uh to be on defense and such but you know pretty much you push your wave you roam and kind of cause some trouble on the map kind of force rumble to push and then you can go back and get your wave 
and you don't really want to fight them. If you, you can look for a window, like I did a couple times, and you know that can help. Um, Shaco here, yeah, I guess. But like, even though we're dominating, it's showing you like how to work around like a difficult matchup and um, how to put pressure on the map. And then, as you can see, when I went up to the Nexus Shrines, um, they 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 weren't even paying attention. They didn't give a shit. I just went right up to it. Jen was trying to hold a wave, and he couldn't do anything about it. I just went right up to it and got both towers down and walked out like it was nothing. <laughs> Yeah, Rumble's got that percent health, demonic embrace, um, so you gotta be careful there. He got movement speed, that's the main thing. He can just, like, poke you with his, um, his little rockets, and they, they slow you, too. So not only he has bonus movement speed, and, um, slowing you all the time. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, kind of like Mundu with these cleavers. You gotta, you gotta kind of, like, stay behind your minions, and, and um... Stuff like that, because when you don't have minions around, you don't have extra damage. So he's not going to go in on you if, with all those minions around. I mean, he can throw his you know, little torch thing or whatever and burn him up, but he's not going to fight you on a wave if you get a hold of him. And, uh, you know, Titanic Nashers is, is really good to rush because it clears the wave so fast that you take less damage, but also um, it does... Um, quick damage. So, like, your Q and your W go instant damage when you do a combo. So you get that shock wave. Um, so you're going to burst them down that way. And then when you ult, everything uh, does more damage because of the, the health. And then if you go Nasher's Rush, you get a, a bigger shield, stronger shield, and then, you know, a ton of attack speed. So if you land your combo Q and E, uh, you're going to get a lot of, you know, auto attacks on on the champion and just burst them down that way. You can see that tower damage right there, putting a lot of pressure on the map, even though overall my team was doing pretty well. Objectives is usually the secondary thing I look for, like getting the rift and, you know, helping out with objectives. And these are the runes that I run with uh, the Stormbreaker playstyle. You can run Nimbus Cloak. If you want to, it works really well with uh, Ghost. And if you could take like Teleport, you get a little bit of uh, movement speed off that as well. And you can also choose to go Dead Man's if you want to. It works really well with the Hall Breaker. That's why we get that extra movement speed and the Swifties. Um, but generally in this build, I go after um, Hall Breaker, I go Frozen Heart and then 